Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will learn about some product function in Excel. This belongs to the category of arithmetic and aggregation functions and is one of the most powerful functions in Excel. So, let's get started with some product function. This function has only one mandatory argument, but typically we provide input to at least two arguments. Let's try to break down each of its elements. The name of this function has two elements. First is the name product which stands for multiplication like multiplying two or more numbers or data set and the second is sum which stands for summation. So basically sum product is used to multiply values between two data sets and then find the summation of each multiplied value. The first argument is array1 and it is the set of data with multiple rows and few times it involves multiple columns too. Don't get confused now, I will provide more clarity on this. The second and rest of the arguments are array2, array3, so on and so forth and similar dataset goes as an input to these arguments as well. Few important points to remember. The number of rows in each array argument must be same. This is the prerequisite to use this function. Also, if you are providing input to only first mandatory argument which is array1, then that input must have more than one columns. Obviously, to perform multiplication operation between these two column values. Let's see what exactly it means. Sum product function basically uses two types of syntax. Say for example, we have this data of different companies and some price and quantity records against each line item. Now to find the total revenue for all the companies, we have to multiply each row item by its price and quantity. So when we use this sum product function to achieve this result, we can give column D values as input to array 1 and column E values as input to array 2. Some product will multiply price and quantity values in pair of each row and then sum up all those values. Now let's say we are going to give input to only one mandatory argument which is array 1. We can still select column D and column E separately and then add a multiplication or asterisk symbol between them. This is the direct way of telling some product function to perform multiplication between both the column values and then sum it up. I hope it is clear until now. Now it's time to see some real time examples. So let's jump back to Excel and see some product function in action. So we are back into Excel and this is the data we will be using as an example. This data has five different columns with respect to data below it. On the right side, we will try to find the answers for these 5 questions using some product function and that should cover all different scenarios. So first things first, let me try to find the total revenue using this data. Typically, we multiply price with quantity for each row item, then use some function to find the total of all the values. Basically, it is a two step process. With some product function, we can achieve same result in single step. Let's start by adding some product function. The input to array 1 will be all the values below column D. The input to array 2 will be all the values below column E. Close the bracket and hit enter. You will get the same result. You can also replace the argument separator with multiplication or asterisk symbol. This function will still work and gives the same result. With that basic use of some product function, let us now start finding the answers for these questions. The first question is to find the total of quantities for company A and it is just like using some if function. So let's add some product function. The input to array 1 will be the values below quantity column. The input to array 2 will be values below company column but with a criteria as company A. Now here is the one important point that we need to take care while working with this function. Whenever we are using the criteria on certain range of data, we need to enclose both criteria and its range in its own set of parentheses. This is very important requirement of some product function. So always remember it. Now close the bracket and hit enter and we will get the output as 0 which is not correct. Now let's try to understand the reason behind. Whenever we apply criteria for a range of cells, the output will be either true or false. We can check it by selecting that particular argument and then pressing F9 key on your keyboard. You can see the output is either true or false. Wherever the cell value is equal to company A, the output will be true, else it will be false. Now, 
we are trying to multiply these true or false which are basically text values with numerical values of quantity column so obviously the output will be zero there are few ways to fix this and you can remember this as a trick that is applicable for all excel formulas the first way is to add two minus symbol in front of range and criteria by performing any mathematical operation on true and false values excel will convert them into ones and zeros true will be one false will be zero because we are adding two minus symbols the overall value will not change we can also multiply this range and criteria with numerical value one again the logic is same no change in the value but true and false will be converted as ones and zeros we can also remove the argument separator and multiply both ranges using asterisk symbol for all these three methods the logic is same and when we multiply any numerical value with one and zero we get the same output of numerical value and later we can sum it up now if we hit enter we will get the total of all the quantities the second question is to find the count of january month records for company b let's start by adding some product function the input to array 1 will be all the values below company column with the criteria as company b again make sure to close both range and criteria in its own set of parentheses and multiply this range by all the values below month column with the criteria as january month again close them in parentheses close the bracket and hit enter we will get the output as 1 as we have one such record now let me try to give the logic behind this output wherever the value in column a is company b and value in column c is january the output will be true and because we are multiplying both the ranges these true values gets converted as numeric 1 so when we sum up these numeric 1 values we get the total count of those records where both the values are true so basically multiplication operates like a and logic condition if both are true then only the output is true else it is false now when we say multiplication works like and logic condition the addition works like or logic condition if any one of the condition is true then the output is true else it will be false we will see such examples in next set of questions the next question is to find the number of records in january and february month for company a or company b now we have two different conditions in same columns and we need to use or condition to get the output as true for matching values let's start by adding some product formula the input to array 1 will be all the values below company column with criteria as company a close this condition in a set of parentheses then let's insert the addition symbol then let's copy and paste the first condition again and change the criteria as company b now let's close this entire or condition in another set of parentheses now if we select this entire condition and press f9 key to see the output we see the output as 1 wherever the value is company a or b else the output will be zero similarly we will create another pair of or condition for month column with criteria as january or february and then very important multiply these two conditions together as we know multiplication works like and logic operator wherever the value is true we get the output as 1 and when we sum up all such one values we get the count of records where company is either a or b and month is either january or february the next question is to find the sum of revenue for company a and company c and again we need to use the or condition in the same column so let's start by adding some product formula as input to array 1 let's select all the values below company column apply first criteria as company a close it in the set of parentheses then insert a addition symbol let's copy and paste the first condition again and change the criteria as company c and most important enclose this or condition in another set of parentheses now let's multiply this entire or condition with values under revenue column so wherever the output is true we get the value as 1 and when this one is multiplied by revenue value we get the output as same revenue value itself and finally when we sum up all these revenue values we get the total of all the revenues for company a or c 
that is how it works in the background the last question is to find the sum of quantities for february month for company a or d let's start by adding the sum product formula and then follow the same logic as we did before let's drag and select all the values below company column set the criteria as company a then close it in a set of parentheses now insert a addition symbol then copy and paste the first condition again and change the criteria as company d enclose this or condition in another set of parentheses now multiply this or condition with all the values under month column with criteria as february make sure to close this condition in a set of parentheses finally multiply this entire condition with all the values below quantity column close the bracket and hit enter we get the total of all the quantity values where company is a or d and month is february so that is how we need to use some product function in excel and all of these five questions were designed to cover most of the possible scenarios that's all i wanted to cover in this video